For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another Madden 24 update video for you guys today. Every single Thursday before the, uh, the Thursday Night Football game, EA releases their ratings update, and they release some throughout the week. I mean, I know one of the big ones that they released early in the week was Travis Kelsey, who was already a 99, uh, got some upgrades anyway. I mean, his, like, awareness and stuff like that's up to a 99, which, you know, that's fine. Makes total sense. But I'm going to go over all the ones that they released just now. Minutes ago, this came out, and I'm going to bring it to you guys hot off the press. As always, though, if you guys want to continue this and do some update videos, because there should be an update, an actual gameplay update coming out either tomorrow, which is kind of my guess or sometime next week that's pretty much the guess last time everybody thought it was gonna come out the following week it came out on a Friday so it wouldn't surprise me at all if it came out tomorrow Woo! if you guys want to see that like I said make sure to be a subscriber like button in the comment section because every time they release something like this I'm gonna tell you guys about and bring you guys all the pertinent information now starting off at the top we're just gonna go through the whole list of players here the highest rated player that got an improvement or a drop this week was a player that I've been calling out for some time now in TJ Watt TJ Watt's got to be one of the defensive player of the year front running candidates so far and i think he started the year like a 93 or like a 94 i called this out in a previous video because tj watt if you guys don't know he's an outside linebacker i mean he's an edge rusher he's an edge player he should be graded as an edge player but because he's rated as an outside linebacker his lack of coverage ability for some reason drops his overall rating but it is up a point, so it's now to a 97. But that's a guy just like anybody, you know, he should be like a 98. He should have started the game at like a 98. He should probably be like a 99 by now. But we'll see what happens by the end of the year because I, I imagine he's going to keep having a really good season. And hopefully, eventually, he'll get there. I mean, this is a guy I think two years ago was Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, maybe it was three years ago now. I'm not really sure. He has He's tied for the record uh, for most sacks in a season in NFL history. He has the most sacks in the history of the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise and he's I mean he's still playing he's still in his prime at the end of the day I mean the dude he deserves to be a higher rated player than he is even still even at a 97 I would still think he's probably better because of his career accomplishments accomplishments than a guy like uh, Nick Bosa who hasn't been playing for very long or Micah Parsons who hasn't been playing for very long I think I might have said Micah Parsons name right there for the first time in a while so if I did give me a shout out in the comment section look some love in the comment section because I know I get a lot of people that always hate on me for saying the names wrong so if you one of those people you better flip it around in the comment section real quick uh max crosby got a plus one now, here's another guy he had an absolutely monster night on prime time so it really doesn't surprise me that he's getting uh, a ratings boost um he's a really underrated player i mean he's been going up year after year he's another guy in my opinion that could easily be rated uh, even higher like a 96 97 but he's up to a 95 so we'll settle for that jesse bates he's getting his second ratings boost of the year he's up another point to a 94 for my money he might be the best safety in the league he had two interceptions in the first game against the Panthers and since he got another ratings boost I'm gonna guess he had another one for you know last week but it's really hard to say I'm not 100% sure I'm pretty sure he leads the league in picks though uh, one of the best safeties in the game regardless of how you feel I know when he was on the, the Bengals last year I threw so many picks to that guy Josh Allen the cover athlete I don't know what he did last week but I know the first week he was horrible and he went down a point then the next week he was pretty good and went up a point and now for some reason he's back down a point so I don't know what's going on there but they're really messing with the cover athletes ratings uh, because this dude here, he's just up and down, up and down all year. And I, I hate to see that be the case. I know people are going to start crying the Madden curse, but uh, Josh Allen down on 93, cover athlete down on 93. Moving on, we're going to continue on here. Teron Armstead, a plus two for the Dolphins. I'm imagining just about after a 70 point game, I'm imagining just about every player on the Dolphins that actually played should be like a plus two after a game like that. Uh, but we'll find out as we go along. We're only going to go to about the, the high 80s or the mid 80s. Uh, but he's the uh, one of the higher rated boost players. I'm sure Devin A. Chain, uh, or I'm not sure how you say his name because I know there was an issue with how his name was being said, but I'm sure his rating went up quite a bit too after a 200 yard performance in just the second game. But I don't think I'll make it that far to actually see. Uh, his ratings boost i'll try to leave a link in the description if you guys want to check out your personal team justin herbert another guy who i think went down earlier in the year he's back up he went up two points so he's now a 90 i'm not sure i mean i know they won the game i think they got their first win uh last week in a, in a pretty close game uh keenan allen who's a guy who probably should get a two-point boost as well uh, he only got a one point boost he's up to a 90 but he had a monster game i mean i had him in fantasy i think he had like 13 14 catches guy is an absolute machine uh mika hyde uh, defender for the uh safety for the bills 
Uh, he got a plus one. He's up to 90. I think he started the year as a 90, so he must have went down one to go back up one, which is what, you know, EA likes to do. But they basically pitched a shutout against uh, the Washington football team, uh, the Commanders. So that's something that, um, you know, I think that whole defense should probably get some uh, some love as well. Uh, Charvarius Ward, cornerback for the Niners, went up a point. He has already gone up a couple times this year, too. I think he started the year like an 87, so he's up to an 89. He's looking like a shutdown corner for the Niners. DeAndre Hopkins. If there's been a, I don't think there's been a player that's gone down more than DeAndre Hopkins. And that was that's a tough place to play because you don't really have a great quarterback in Ryan Tannehill getting you the ball. Uh, but he's already gone down. I think he went down three points already at least. I think the, uh, the first week... DeAndre Hopkins went down like two points alone. I don't know, but he's down a lot. He's down on 89, and I think he started the year at a 93, if I if I remember correctly. Might have been, uh, you know, he might have it might have been even higher. Lamar Jackson going down after a loss, first loss of the season to the Colts. He's down to an 89. A lot of quarterbacks going down, by by the way, a lot of high profile quarterbacks. Rashawn Gary, outside linebacker for the uh, the Green Bay Packers. I, I saw somewhere they said he had his best week, his best game since um, since before his injury last year. So he got a point back. He's up to an 89. Guy's a really good player. They have a lot of talent on Green Bay who plays in about two hours, by the way. Daniel Hunter uh, gets a plus one. Here's a guy. He had three sacks against the Eagles in week two. And I don't remember if he went up or down or what, but I think he leads the league in sacks right now. He's up to an 88 overall. Speed is all that matters though, at the end of the day. Kenneth Walker had a, I think he was offensive player of the week for the NFC. Uh, he had two touchdowns, and uh, I think he had a you know 120 yards or something like that in total offense. I'm not really sure, but he went up a point. He's up to 88. I love me some Kenneth Walker, one of the fastest running backs in the game. Uh, he's one of the best running backs in the game right now, too. One of the best young running backs in the game. Uh, Hufunga, safety for the Niners. Lots of Niners going up. He's up a point to an 88. Trey Hendrickson, uh, probably the best defensive player left for the Bengals after Jesse Bates left. He's up to up a point to an 88. Uh, we also have a, a center, Corey Lindsley, for the uh, for the Chargers went down a point, which is weird because they did get their first win. We just saw two of their offensive players. I, I never really know where the plus ones, minus ones come from when it comes to linemen. Uh, but he went down a point, even though you know his other his other teammates on offense went up a point. So I don't know what they saw that he did wrong. He went down a point. Dalvin Cook down a point, down an A seven. He's only gone down since he's been in the uh, in the in a Jets uniform. Uh, which isn't surprising. I mean, you know, they don't really have a passing game, so I'm sure defenses are keying in on stopping the run. And but at the same time, the uh, they're you know, Brees Hall is still having a lot of success. So you know, maybe the Vikings were right about Dalvin Cook. I, I think he'd probably still be having success in their offense, but he's not in a good situation. So he's down to an A7, and I think he started the year at a 90. Uh, so it's only three weeks, and I think he's going down three points. Javon Holland. I know he got at least one forced fumble. Uh, in that uh, Dolphins game, but he's up two points. So I don't know what he did, but he's up to an 87 overall. Javon Holland, definitely a really good player, but he's moving up fast, up to an 87, uh, which, you know, we like to see. I like to see uh, guys get their due, and I know he's been a good player for a long time. Now, here's a guy I was waiting to find on this list. Actually, we, we skipped somebody. Rashawn Slater, another offensive player for the Chargers, went up a point, but for some reason, screw Corey Lindsley, he's down a point. Everybody else is up a point, but not him. Uh, Tua, uh, Tua, that was the guy I was waiting on. This guy here... He's got to be, by the end of the year, uh, the, rate, the rate that he's going, I mean, it's a shame that Madden doesn't touch stuff like throw power because that's really going to be the issue when it comes in. He's still got an 86 throw power, but everything else is going up, and he's up two to an 87. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, to me, he could be up three at this point. I mean, the dude is just playing lights out. The Dolphins' offense is insane. Putting up 70 points is just insane, and two is just doing all kind of crazy stuff. That no-look pass that he did twice, that no-look shovel pass, should have got him an extra point. He should have been up, up three, and I'm a Hurts guy. You guys know that. Hurts is 88. Tua is about to pass him, but I'm, I'm totally cool with it because Tua is playing lights out. He's been playing lights out his entire NFL career, in my opinion, even though he's been underrated uh, and looked over a lot of times. Tyler Lockett down a point. Not really sure what happened there, uh, but he's down a point to an 87. We're going to go, like I said, we're going to go on to about uh, the high or the low 80s because there are a couple of guys that I want to see if they went up or not. Derek Brown, defensive tackle for the Panthers. He went up two points. Uh, he must have had a monster game. Not really sure what he did. Michael Pittman went up a point to an 86 for the Colts, received for the Colts. And Travis Etienne uh, went up two points to an A6. A couple of two-point guys here lower on the board. Tremaine Edmonds down a point. I mean, he plays in uh, you know he plays in Chicago, so what are you going to do? But he's down an A6. Probably doing a lot better in Buffalo right now. Uh, but, hey, got to get paid. Got to take that money. So he did that. Uh, down two points. Here's one of the guys I really wanted to see. Dak Prescott 
down two points to an 85. Now, I know that was a bad interception, and they haven't really been that great in the red zone and stuff like that. But I don't really, I mean, I don't, I hate Dallas, but I don't think that Dak Prescott should have went down two points. I think he should have been 85 all along. <laughs> I'm just joking, but seriously, like this guy, he's not, in my opinion, um, you know, that's what he should have been. Last year, he ended the year way higher than he should have been. He should have came in. Like, to me, he's like an 85. That's not a bad quarterback, but it's not like an elite quarterback either. And I think that's around the range that he belongs. So 85 sounds about right to me. But it's still surprising they went down two points. And I, I think he only threw that one really bad interception. So kind of crazy, but that, that interception cost them. Uh, we have a guy, I'm not going to try to say his name, middle linebacker for the Jags, uh, Foya Sada. I don't, I don't watch the Jags enough to know it, but Alokun, I think is his name. If I got that right and I can't get Micah Parsons right, uh, you know, there's something wrong with that. But he went up a point to an 85. I guess the last guy I really wanted to see uh, was the running back for the Eagles, which I haven't seen yet. Um, so we're just going to go ahead. We're going to go right down. We're going to skip the rest as I'm not really too concerned with all these guys. I want to see where DeAndre Swift got. And he got a plus one. Second leading rusher in the league, plus one. Aiden Hutchinson got a plus one as well, up to an 84. Both those guys up to an 84. I really thought that being second leading rusher in the league and have two great games might have got Swift to an 85. But I'm happy with it because he is an absolute beast. Uh, so we're going to go. We're going to end it there. Like I said, I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check out the full list and see your favorite teams and what your players did do and didn't do as far as moving up and moving down. But if you want me to continue this, as always, hit the like button let me know in the comments section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.